In this video, I'm going to tell you about Florida's six venomous snakes. And you know what? You're going to like it. The first snake we're going to talk about is Florida's only venomous snake that lays eggs. It's the coral snake. The coral snake is a secretive snake living underneath leaves and logs and other such ground covers. They're generally active during the day, but the times I find the most are early morning and late in the afternoon, and sometimes after an afternoon rainstorm. Some people have trouble telling them apart between the scarlet king snake and the scarlet snake. Go here if you have trouble. Now let's take a look at the live birthing cottonmouth. the snake that chases you. They seem to never chase you. Always going the other direction. Okay, maybe they don't chase you. People just think they do. They're found throughout Florida, preferring to live in many different types of wetlands, but they do travel in between the wetlands. On the peninsula, you have the Florida Cottonmouth all the way to the Apalachicola River, West from there, you have an intergrade between the Florida and the Northern Cottonmouth, which is kind of interesting of how that works. I'll try to explain it to you. So apparently way back in the day when the ice age came down, you had most of Florida that didn't have ice and you had some of Texas that didn't have ice. Those areas separated the Cottonmouth and pushed them down. Over time, they grew into separate subspecies and now in the Western Panhandle, they're meeting back up. So if you're wondering, that explains that the Southern Copperhead. In Florida, copperheads like hardwood hammocks close to streams and rivers. However, they will venture into the pine lanes. It might surprise you, but it's not found throughout the whole state. It's only found around the Apalachicola River and the northern parts of the Western Panhandle. That's right, just those areas. If you're confused by that and you think you know what a copperhead looks like, but you actually don't because you've seen one outside of that area, watch this video. This will help you. Now let's look at Florida's smallest venomous snake. It's the dusky pygmy rattlesnake. The dusky pygmy rattlesnake lives throughout the state of Florida, except for the Keys. It lives in a wide variety of habitats, including flatwoods, swamps, uplands like sand hills and the scrubby scrub. When cornered, the pygmy rattlesnake will head bop and have little sporadic movements. However, don't let that fool you. The pygmy rattlesnake is a scared little snake that just wants to go and hide. It's not aggressive like some people will tell you. Moving on to the timber rattlesnake. affectionately known as the canebrake rattlesnake. In Florida, the canebrake rattlesnake, <coughs> the timber rattlesnake lives in the Northern Peninsula, rarely found south of Gainesville, through Alachua County up to Bradford, Union, Baker, Columbia, Nassau, Duval, and as far west as Hamilton and parts of Madison County. And some have been found in parts of the Panhandle, however, not common at all, very rare. All right, you made it to the last one, number six, and it's my favorite. It's the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. It's also the biggest one. The record length of the Eastern Diamondback was eight feet long. That's a big snake and very, 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 very rare to see one that big. They are more commonly found around four feet and under. The Eastern Diamondback is found statewide. They're even found in the Keys and off of Barrier Islands. They're good swimmers. They don't mind swimming at all. Their preferred habitat was pine savannas and other types of open grasslands. However, due to habitat loss and human encroachment, the Eastern Diamondback has been forced to live in habitats they used to just pass through. 
All right, you got through it. Now you know Florida's six venomous snakes. However, before you think this gives you the license to classify the bad ones from the good ones, remember, there's no bad snake. However, there is bad humans. Also, for the thousands of people moving to Florida, here's something to note. The Florida man isn't from Florida. He's a northerner that moved down here and got too much sun. Anyway, I'm Michael Dye. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. And if you want to see more of this, please subscribe. I'll see y'all later.